Article number 11, move that the town transfer from free cash $3,000 to perform soil testing, including soil borings at Zaturka Park. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Mr. Kopacki, are you able to speak to this article? Andy Kopacki, you have the Park and Recognition. Um, we're looking to acquire $3,000 to do some sample for, uh, or testing at Zaturka Park to um, finally answer the question as what's down there. Um, at, uh, concurrently, we're also applying for a grant uh, for this money. And um, should we get that money, we'd be happy to return it to the, to the town's general fund. And we should know the results of that in, in a short time. But uh, anyway, um, I urge that we uh, um, take a, a step to examine what we actually have underneath there so we can put that parcel to some good use for the town. The Capital Planning Committee recommends against this article. Finance Committee supports it three to zero. And the Select Board recommends four to zero. Any further discussion? Joseph Boysford, 6 Mount Warner Road. Uh, Mr. Mo Moderator, maybe somebody can explain to me it's a little bit older than me. I was aware that used to be a stump dump, but we put stumps in there and filled it in. I think the sinking is just the ground settling. Maybe we could save $3,000 if somebody a little, you know, a little more aged than myself could explain that to us. Thank you. Uh, Ken Jacobson. One 12. second, Mr. Jacobson. I'm sorry. Uh, one second, please. Is there anybody in the audience or up front here who's able to speak directly to Mr. Boyce's concern? Mr. West? I'm not that much older than Joe, but I'll just give you a heads up on... We had, we had quite a few conversations about this, about should we spend the money and should or should we not. Um, we thought it was best to move forward and spend the money and find out exactly what is there because through some of the research, it's not clear exactly what's down there. And I guess that's the, the best way to put it. Um, sometimes when you're dumping stumps in a hole, years ago, maybe some other things went in the hole that aren't supposed to be there, and we thought before we move forward with the project, we should find it out. Sir? Ken Jacobson, 12 Bristol Lane. What's the project we're moving forward on? Last year, this was brought forward, the gentleman from Park and Rec spoke, I think for 10 minutes or so, and then concluded by withdrawing the article saying that he hadn't figured out how to take the money from the sale of the property, which was then the idea, and apply it to uh, a new field someplace. Now I hear that we're gonna spend $3,000, which to me is just putting the camel's uh, nose under the tent to figure out what's there. Um, why do we have to know that? Why do we want to develop this property at all? You know, it's open space, it's five and a half acres. God knows what else is in there besides uh, maybe hazardous waste, but you might have to do an environmental impact study also to, to see if there's any animals or whatever that would be, you know, against state law to develop the property. And, and, and you know, are you going to sell the property? What is the project? What is the idea of spending $3,000? Why are we putting the camel's nose on, under the tent? I think we should just give up on this project until we take care of all the much more important projects uh, I went to a meeting on the historic buildings. There's a lot of money got to go into those. We, we were, I guess, a million dollars short on the budget and a lot of people got cut. So why are we spending three, 3,000 on that? 3,000 is just about what my taxes are in this town. And I can think of a lot of better things to put my tax money to than trying to see what's in this lot. Uh, where I hope we're never going to do anything with it. My sense was last, last town meeting that if it had been brought to a vote, it was going to get voted down. People did not want to develop the property. Thank you. Andy Klebacki, Park and Rec Commission again. Um, the intention of uh, finding out what's down underneath there was whether or not we were going to either improve the park as a park, uh, which was one avenue we explored about four years ago, but ran into some uh, reluctance because of some concerns of what was under the ground down there. We wanted to 
uh, freshen it up. Anybody who's by that, been by that park knows that it's not exactly uh, an inviting looking place. It's got rusty fence leaning over, it's got trees laying on the side. Um, so we, we would either like to clean it up and make it a town park or do something else with it. Uh, a, a number of years ago, we did attempt to uh, consider the, what we could, an exploratory um, uh, search to see what we could do with that particular park. Um, that warrant did not uh, go anywhere, so then we were looking at alternatives. If the town doesn't want us to do anything with that and, uh, and let it continue to deteriorate, like other assets in this town, I mean, we the commission can certainly do that, but we'd like to improve it to make it a more, at least if nothing else, a safe and inviting place. If there are things down in there, if I last recall the, um, the maps, um, that, that area is underneath the, um, um, the Callahan Wells up on uh, Mount Warner, or Mount Warner Wells, excuse me. Um, if there's stuff down there, and it's only speculation, uh, we don't really know. And, and if we're, um, we'd like to do an exploratory to find out what is down there, answer the question, see what we can do, and move on. Ken Jacobs at 12 Bristol Way. If the gentleman is willing to assure me that the, 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 the camel nose is going under the tent only for the purpose of seeing if this park can be made more usable as a park for the town, I have absolutely no objection to that. However, the last time that this particular parcel was brought up, we were trying to sell it for $365,000. That article was, was drawn. So now we have a whole different scenario, but the gentleman did say, Mr. Moderator, or something else, and it's that or something else that brings back my recollection of selling the property. So if this is only to make sure what's under the ground there and make it better for the town, I have no objection. Otherwise, I think we should vote this article down because all it is is starting the slippery slope to sell the parcel. Uh, David Alvin, 57 Huntington Road. I live a little bit across the street from the parcel we're talking about. And I appreciate the work that Park and Rec is doing, and I think it's important to know uh, what the potential that parcel is. So I would uh, be interested in moving ahead with this, so I would support it. Uh, Andy Klebak and Park and Rec Commission again. And, and again, um, this $3,000 that we're looking, we are also pursuing the grant, um, which um, it should we get this grant, we'd return, match this money right back with the um, funds to the town. Ken Jacobs in 12 Bristol Lane. That, that isn't the question I asked the gentleman, Mr. Moderator. Will he assure town meeting that the purpose of either the grant or the $3,000 is simply to see if this can be made more usable for the town and not to start the slippery slope to sell the property? Can I have that assurance? Uh, Mr. Moderator, I don't believe I'm in the position to assure the town what the town is going to do f with this parcel in the future. Um, number one, it would need town meeting vote before we would actually have to sell anything. And it would behoove us to find out what's underneath that property there, whether we have our children out on it. I know it served the purpose many years ago, which was very fine, but I, I think all of you kids that played out there remember going into a hole once in a while out to that outfield when you were going to catch a fly ball. Um, so I mean, that's, that's an issue of uh, safety and whatnot. So either we're gonna fix it. I mean, our programs have grown over the years. It's not what it used to be where you would do a little pickup ball here or there on those fields. We've lost the Turka field, we've lost the North Hadley field because it's so close to the road. It's a detriment to the kids to be playing so close there into the cars that travel by. So I mean, we're trying to do things better for the whole town, not to waste money on any aspect. Every department needs to have an improvement. We're only in trying to improve on what's done for Park and Rec as we have for any other department in town. So we need to find out what's underneath that piece of property. Can I try one more time? 
So that's all great. That's wonderful. Let's, let's make it safe for the kids. Let's make it a park. We're losing parks. But the article last time, with all due respect, was to sell the property. So have we given up on that idea and switched over to the idea? I know it would have to come to town meeting. But it was here once, and it was going to get voted down. So are we simply putting the Campbell's nose under the tent to see if we can sell the property, or are we just making, uh, trying to make a park better? That's the only answer I'm trying to get, straight up, yes or no. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. Thank you. All those opposed? Seven opposed, 125 for. Motion passes.